I suspect I probably always had celiac disease right from being a baby. Um, perhaps some of the telltale signs when I was little were I had a swollen stomach when I was a baby quite a lot. I had bouts of projectile vomiting. Um, and although I was a very healthy child, I then became quite a skinny teenager and it was always very difficult to put on weight. Um, I had a number of years when I didn't have periods. Um, I often was anemic, I had a lot of mouth ulcers. Then in my late 20s, early 30s, I lived in Asia for four years and picked up a parasite called a, a, an amoeba when I was living out there. And that affected me really badly. I ended up with diarrhoea 15, 20 times a day, lost a lot of weight, really felt pretty grim. Um, I don't know, it almost seemed that that kicked off the celiac disease in a big way or, or made the symptoms come out more strongly. At that point, I then came back to live in the UK and my mother actually has pernicious anemia um, and also some, some problems with her thyroid, which are again autoimmune type conditions. She actually happened to know somebody who has celiac disease and she suggested, why don't you ask the doctor to see if you could be tested for that just in case. Um, the doctor wasn't particularly keen on doing the test. Uh, he more or less said, well, we'll do it to rule it out. Um, I then had a blood test and follow-up endoscopy where they take a biopsy. And sure enough, yes, in fact, it then came back positive for celiac disease. To start with, it's quite bewildering. You can't quite believe that you've been diagnosed with something that you will have for the rest of your life. And there's basically nothing you can do about it apart from eating a gluten-free diet. Um, and to a certain extent, it's a journey of self-discovery, trying to work out what you can and can't eat, how, how you're going to change things from now on. Mm -hmm.